Okay, good morning everyone. I hope we're all okay and we'll see and we are enjoying our week so far. Right, so what I've got today is we've got a couple of tins of beans and we're going to work on our shoulders most importantly. So I know all of us are trying to keep moving and from the government guidelines we can go back to work with some kind of normality if you're allowed to, okay, most importantly. But if you're still working from home or even you're working in the office with your own space, use exercise you can do to help strengthen your shoulders and help your posture because we know sitting down, I know I've been there, working the computer at home, shoulders are rounding, and next thing you know, I'm back, and my neck is getting really, really tight. So we're gonna show you a quick one. You only need to cut the tins of beans, we've all got those at home. Very, very simple. So for me, all we're gonna do is hold the tins and I'm gonna hold it in front of me, okay? So from there, I want to abduct the hands. Before I do that, what I want to do is retract my shoulders. So I'll just show you from here, pull shoulders back, retract them. And I want to protract, lengthen them. I just want to get the circulation back into the muscle. So I'm going to stretch it and I retract it. So contract. Okay, so stretching and contracting, so retract. So just literally trying to get the circulation back in the muscles and wake those up. So what I'm trying to do there, okay? So I'm going to round too much. So I'm going to get wake them back up. I'm going to start a couple of reps on that, and then I'm going to take the hands away from me, and I'll pull apart. And that's actually going to stretch the chest, and I'll open up the chest, so into a T. Tins are there, just a little bit of resistance, that's all I want. If you've got some like dumbbells you use them at home, it's not a problem. And then I'm going to come forward again. So from there, I'm going to bring it forward, and I'm going to hold it in. So don't let the tins touch. All I'm going to do here at the back is keep the shoulders retracted and put them in. So I'm pulling them back and down. So I'm putting my shoulder base down. Engage those lats over the shoulder blade, they come across underneath, so that lower border scap, and then I'm going to see kind of come in and pull them down. So from there, I'll keep them pulled down and back, and I'll open up my chest. So now I'm strengthening the back and open up the front. So there's a very basic exercise you can do when you're sitting down, so give yourself five minutes out. So we're going to do literally up to 10 reps on here. So as long as I'm controlling my shoulders at the back, keeping them pulled back and down, that's strengthening the muscles. That's keeping my shoulders nice and strong. What I don't want to do is let them relax and just round. That's not going to do anything but from start rounding your back. So I don't want to be doing rounding the back. I'm going to make muscles long. I'm going to keep them retracted down and back to keep them nice and nice and strong. So you can see that there. Okay, so you can see when I pull back, muscles are contracted, arms are out, pushing down and back. And then I feel like I'm literally waking up going, hello, they're there. So as long as I can do that and control it, that's what I want to do. So it's a basic T position. So from there, I'm just going to do my 10 reps, do the same thing again, shoulders pull back, down, retract, protract, retract, protract. So just trying to wake the muscles up, get them stronger, and get those shoulders all around there, nice and strong, muscles around the scapula, waking them up, getting them a lot stronger. So it's a very, very simple routine. Again, go back, open up, so open up the chest. So lengthen pec minor at the top, opening up through the shoulders, come back in again, pull your shoulders back, retract them. So up to 10 reps again, or to fatigue, it's up to you what you're gonna do there. So very, very simple routine. You can do, you can sit down for five minutes. Again, from there, protract, lengthen them, retract, shorten them. So just trying to wake them up, trying to get them stronger. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go back into it. So up to five sets, I'm doing this. Again, it gives you that five minute routine and you can rest 30 seconds a minute in between each set. Very, very simple to do. So that helps that posture. I'm not slouching, shoulders aren't rounding, muscles around the back are not getting long, they're getting tight, so they're getting long. They're not getting any blood flow in there, so the back starts to ache. Muscles in the front, you can see the shoulders, they're rounding here. These aren't strong enough. There's no circulation going in here. All the back is actually getting tight, not getting fresh blood supply in there. Yeah, that's what happens, isn't it? So we, get, we shorten the front, lengthen at the back. Nothing is getting, nothing is working. This is holding me up. The core muscles in the back, loads of strain in the lower back, and this isn't doing anything. It's just nice and relaxed. So we want to get that better posture, all right? So hold yourself nice and proud. Stomach's nice and tight, and the glutes are working. Hold yourselves up. Give that a go. Hope you give it a go, guys. Try it. Let me know how you feel. Please share this video out. And I will see you again very, very soon. Might as well have our fitness. Hope many of you in East one move better and feel better through our online fitness rooms. If you'd like to find out more what we're doing, just contact me. See how we can help you. 
you haven't seen your videos yet, I'll share some more videos out of how we're helping people through our online fitness rooms, keeping them more active, most importantly, keeping you going through these times of need. Stay safe, see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.